Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record a specific application window or your entire screen online. So let's say you want to create a Photoshop tutorial and you want to record your screen, but instead of recording your entire screen, you only want to record a specific application window. And in this case, it's going to be the Photoshop application window. Well, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do this online without needing to download any software. So with that being said, the tool we're gonna to be using is called Veed, and I'm gonna be putting the links in the description below. So once you're on Veed's screen, recorder the first thing you're going to be asked to do is actually pick a layout and the first thing you'll notice is that we have the choice between the webcam only screen only and then we have a mix between the webcam and the screen with these little webcam inserts or the split screens right here so if I want to record only my screen what I'm going to do is actually click on screen right here and now here it says either I can select my entire screen like this or I can click on the application windows tab and then select the tab that I want to record. And in this case, it's Photoshop. So if I click on that and I click share, as we can see now, it's taking me to my Photoshop window. And if I actually go back to the Veed window, as we can see, if I close this, we are actually recording my Photoshop window and only my Photoshop window. If I move around, it won't be able to see anything. If I go to Photoshop, let's say I move this arrow up over the word guide and I go back, it's exactly what it's doing. It sees only what you're doing within Photoshop. So to begin recording, I can click uh, the record button right here. And then let's just say I decided to go back and I'm pointing this arrow around. I'm showing everyone how to use Photoshop in my Photoshop tutorial. I then go back once I finished and I click on stop. Now I have four options. I can either play back the recording, I can edit it. So this takes me into Veed's video editor and this I can then split the video, trim it, crop it and a bunch more. I can either download it straight to my computer. As you can see, it's just downloaded there and then I can choose to re-record it. So just to show you an example, if I click play, I have to go back and I'm pointing this arrow around. I'm showing everyone how to use Photoshop in my Photoshop tutorial. As you can see, that is me recording my screen. Now let's say I want to record my screen as well as myself. If I click on re-record, it then takes me back to the beginning. Now also, if I did want to record only my entire screen, I can click on this window. And now if I click share, everything within this window is being recorded. And now if I click on the cog right here, I can actually change my screen again. And let's just say I want to only record Photoshop again. And then if I go back, Let's just say this time as well that I want to have my little face that pops up in the corner. So if I click that, my webcam is now requesting access and I just need to open up the catch part of my messy room. And now, as you can see, I have myself in the corner of my video. However, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna do solely screen. And then if I click record, I'm gonna show you one last time. If I go into Photoshop, I decide to move things around. If I had, let's say I want to do that, if I decide to delete myself, and then if I go back to Veed, everything's recorded. If I click stop now, then I can click edit. I'm then taken into Veed's video editor and everything I did during that recording is recorded and I can see all the changes made. So let's say I wanted to cut out a little bit in the middle. I can use a split tool to cut this clip out where let's say I make a mistake when I'm talking. I can hit the delete key on my keyboard, delete it. I can then trim it add text, audio, and a bunch more. And then once I'm happy with it, I just click the download button in the top right, and then Veed starts to render my project. And once it's finished rendering, I can then download the screen recording. And that is how to record your screen online using Veed. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That being said, we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.